Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bring your design to life in the Gator Creator drag and drop builder. Okay, so let's take this from the top. The first thing we're going to need is an image block so that we can house the logo at the top of the design. We're gonna to want to go to block style, make it one column and also center the alignment. Then we're just going to grab the image from our library and we're going to get the background color from the page and set that on the block level. Perfect. The next block I think we're going to need is the caption image block. Again, we're going to make it one column and we're going to flip it so the image is at the bottom. If we go to our library again, we can replace this placeholder with the correct image from the design. And I'm just going to get this purple so we can change the whole background color of the block. Perfect. The next thing we're going to want to do is remove some padding, change the color, and set the font size. If I bring over this text, so we can get it more accurate to our design, let's increase the size of the title, and make it bold, and then let's make everything centrally aligned as well, and give it some soft returns for spacing. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is bring our button into alignment and we're going to grab that purple from earlier on for the button text. So when we go down, let's change the background color, change the text color, give it some rounded corners and let's pad it out a little. Nice. Now if we just make the CTA match, that looks pretty much spot on how we want it. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of padding above this image. Let's do 20. And I'm going to reduce the padding on the block because I can see that it doesn't allow the title to all fit on one line. Right, let's do 15. The one thing that's left to do to finish off the title is the font. You see here that we've currently got it set to Arial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Fonts. And I'm going to get the Roboto font so it matches the design. Let's go for regular. Go to page style, add custom font. Simple as that. And then when we go back to the block, select Roboto, then I'll fall back. And now you'll see that the font Roboto is slightly smaller and therefore, and our title now fits within the, the area like it does in the original design. Last thing to check would be we need to remove the padding on the bottom and the left and the right so we can make this flush. And if we go to test center, we should be able to see that the top of our design now is perfect. Moving on to the next part, we've got a text and a button area. The best block for that would be the text button block here. So if I drag that in, We'll bring over the text. And then we'll quickly reformat it using soft returns. Make sure it's all nice and consistent. And 
and then we've got our bulleted list that we'll add here in a moment. Perfect. Just need to now adjust the font size to make it nice and consistent. So let's go with 16. Perfect. And now we need to make the button in line. The quickest way probably to do that would be to select the button and apply all. Click on the button and then just invert it. So change the text color to white and the background color to the purple. Perfect. The next part of the design, we just have a single text area. For that, I'm just going to use this text block here. Drag that down the bottom. And then I'm just going to copy over the text to this area. First thing I want to do is make sure the padding is consistent and then the font size. I'm just going to grab this blue from the experiment report and make sure it's exactly the same in our design. Perfect. The next part of the design is the expert speakers section. <coughs> and what we're going to use here is a caption image block as well. And we're going to make it three column. And we're actually going to hide all of the call to action buttons. So click on those and just remove them. I'm now going to copy this text over. And now we've got our three column design and we just need to bring it all centrally aligned. Perfect, now we just need to get the background color for this entire section. And we'll set that on the block level here. And now we just need to quickly tweak the color so we can actually see the text and apply block will roll that out across all of them. And I'm just going to give the first name, last name, some bold as well. Perfect. Now, if we just drop these images in quickly, as I already have them in the library. Let's give him a little bit more padding to the left and to the right. That will actually help us constrain the images, make them slightly smaller. That looks about right. And then we need to get the title above it. For that, I'm going to use the text box. Let's remove, in fact, let's neutralize the padding first. Remove the background color. Neutralize the secondary padding and let's get the background color in there and Then go to this block And now let's bring the title over Centrally align it Set the color on the element to being the white Increase the font size to somewhere, I'm going to guesstimate around 20. And then we can also make it bold too. Now I'm just going to give it a little bit of padding at the top. Let's go with 35. And now let's just take a look in the test center to see how the design looks so far. And is there any changes we need to make? 
that looks really good. We just need to centrally align this call to action here. Perhaps give it a bit more padding above the top. Expert speakers looks really good. And then we can finally move on to the footer. So let's do exactly just that. Let's add some padding there. Let's centrally align this button. Perfect. And let's add a tiny bit to belief there as well for balance. Now to do the social area, we just need to use this block here. Perfect. And we're going to click on there, remove all of our existing icons. And we're going to add Facebook. Let's delete that one. Grab it from our library. We want Twitter. And finally, we'll add LinkedIn as well. Perfect. Now we just need this to match. So if we go back to the page style, grab the background color and make sure this matches so it looks like it's transparent through to the background. Perfect. All we need now is an unsubscribe text area. For that, I'm going to use the unsubscribe block. And I'm just going to copy over the text. Make sure it's centrally aligned. Add the unsubscribe link. And then just take a look to see if there's any adjustments we need to make to the padding. I imagine, and I guess, we'll do something like that. The final thing to do is to actually adjust the shade of gray by grabbing it from the block above and just making sure it matches. Now when we go back to test center, we should have the nice gray all the way around and our design is finished.